So you want to get all the starters in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Well, I'm going to show you exactly where all the locations are for every single line. And we're going to do that right now. What's up guys, it's Kramer here and today like I said we are going to show you all six locations for each of the starter lines including Typhlosion, Oshawott, Rowlet, Chimchar, Turtwig, and Piplup. And yes, you can get all of those in this game no matter who you picked at the beginning. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first location that you can get starters is post game once you have beaten it is come to galaxy hall in jubilife village so whatever starter pokemon that you picked the professor will actually give you the other two um and you actually need to do this before you can complete the pokedex um so before actually you can get this before arceus so you'll come over to the professor and he will actually give you the other two that you did not pick so that's the first location in jubilife village you come talk to the professor in the galaxy hall Boom, now you have all three starters in the game. All right, and the next star that you're going to be able to access is going to be Chimchar and Monferno and Infernape. And you will find those on Ramanus Island in the Obsidian Fieldlands. So you just go to the first area of Obsidian Fieldlands and go down to Ramanus Island. You are only going to be able to access this by using Basque Legion or by flying over there on Braviary. Or if you know how to use the Bavaro Water Hack, I mean, you can get there sooner, I guess. Um, but what you'll do is you'll just come down here, hit the, uh, the beach, run up right here, and right as you get past here, there is normally a Chimchar right here on the left. Boom, right there. And that Chimchar spawn right there also could potentially be a Monferno. Um, I've never seen both at the same time. It's either Chimchar or Monferno, but that's where they spawn. And then as you see right here in the back, that is where you will get a static alpha infernape this will always be an alpha infernape and it can be shiny so if you want to shiny hunt this this is where you would come to both of these would all be here um the outbreaks for this also happen on Romanus island so you know, i've gotten chimchar and monferno outbreaks they generally happen like in this little area right here um, so that is where you find the Chimchar line. The next starter that you can obtain is going to be Turtwig in the Crimson Mirelands. So travel over to the Crimson Mirelands. And what you're going to do is come down here to the bottom right corner. There is a little pond here. And in this pond, Turtwig always spawns. Well, almost always. So Turtwig will spawn there and Grottle can also spawn there as well. I have seen them both spawn at the same time. Um, there's actually two two Pokemon that will always spawn here. Um, generally, you'll always get a Turtwig, and then you'll get the Evil Paris, or you can also, like I said, get Grotto. You can get a couple other Pokemon as well, um, but that is where that will spawn. And once you go check that, from there, if you come all the way over here into the Home of Trials, down here in about the South Central, kind of over to the left, this spawn right here, I have it marked as a static alpha because there's a static alpha Torterra that spawns over here. So I'll put the little flag over there as well. And what I always do is you can just fly right over there straight from the Turtwig. And basically what will happen is, you know, like I, if you want to be a shiny hunter, you come over there, you check the Turtwig, and then you come and you fly over there. And generally the route that you would take is like you come over here because there's a static uh, Sligu and a bunch of Goomies that, you know, you would love to be shiny. But, you know, they don't have to be. That's not the purpose of this. But we come over here and it's going to be right here in between all these trees in this big open spot right there. Big static Torterra. And that Torterra will always be there, um, you know, unless you catch or defeat it. And before you leave the Crimson Mirelands, there is one other starter line that you can get here. But it's a lot harder to get. And you can only get it in the post game. So once you have beaten the game and you're in the Crimson Mirelands and you get a Distortion, Cyndaquil, Quillava, and Typhlosion can spawn in Distortions in the Crimson Mireland after you beat the main story. So after the credits roll and you come back here, then you will be able to get Cyndaquil in this area. And you're thinking, well, you just told me I could get Cyndaquil or whoever from the professor. Yes, but they can be shiny. So if you want to shiny hunt them, they can be found here in the Crimson Mirelands in the distortion only. Um, I've 
I'd say maybe found like five. <laughs> so it's a pretty rare spawn. It is one of the three rare spawns that can be in a distortion, which we'll talk more about distortions in a future video. But yeah, that's what you can find here. So you can find Turtwig line and Cyndaquil line in the Crimson Mirelands. And the next location is going to be the Cobalt Coastlands. And there's only one starter line that you can find here, and that is going to be the Piplup line. So if you come up here to the top left of the map, first on the, the Isle Spy shore, you will find an alpha static, um, an alpha static thingamabob. And uh, Empoleon, Empoleon, brain fart. Yeah, so here you'll find an alpha static Empoleon. And this is just the same way that the Chimchar and Infernape work. So you'll find that there. And then if you travel just a little north, there's a little pool right here. And then at this pool, you can find Piplups. Um, I've seen at most two. Um, but this is where they'll spawn. And as you see right back here, there's a little Piplup. And also Prinplup will spawn here as well. Um, and you can also have down this beach over here where my pen is, you can also get Piplup and Primplup outbreaks. So they can actually spawn outbreaks as, over here as well. But that's all you can find in the Cobalt Coastlands is the pin, pin, pin plup? Piplup line. I'm leaving this in. All right, so these last two starter lines are a lot harder to do, but in the Coronet Highlands, in distortions only after the credits roll, you can find the Rowlet line. So Rowlet, the middle evolution, as well as the Sedui will be found in distortions only after the post game or after the main story, not the post game, when you're in the post game. Um, so, I mean, I, yeah, I've found very few Rowlets here, nothing else, but that's where you'll find them is in the Coronet Highlands. And then the last one is the exact same, Oshawott. The only place you can find the Oshawott line is in Alabaster Icelands in Distortions after you beat the game. So after the credits roll, just like the last one with Rowlet, Alabaster Icelands only. And so just to recap, so Obsidian Fieldlands, the only thing you can find is the Chimchar line on Romanus Island. Crimson Mirelands, you can find the Turtwig line as well as Cyndaquil line in Distortions only. Colbat Coastlands, you can find the Piplup line over here near the beach. Cornet Highlands, you can only find the Rowlet line in Distortions. And Alabaster Icelands, you can only find the Oshawott line in Distortions. And obviously, don't forget that you can get the two starters that you did not pick in Galaxy Hall from the professor and just one more tidbit of information the pokemon that you get from the professor you cannot shiny hunt them so there's no point in soft resetting for them the only way you'll be able to obtain the other two starters or any of the starters as shiny is by venturing outside of jubilife and going and hunting them thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video leave a comment down below which starter are you going after first is there anything else about pokemon legends arceus that you would like to know i plan on covering distortions in depth in a future video there's just so much information about those and things keep changing every time i want to go record a video for it we've learned new information i mean yeah every single day we learn something new about distortion so we're putting that one on the back burner um but yeah make sure you guys share this video with a friend and find those starters and tag me in a a, a post when you find it shiny on twitter at chroma gaming and also follow me on Twitch. I stream every Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, doing tons of alpha shiny hunting, as well as looking for that Swindequil. I want a shiny Typhlosion, so please, please give me a shiny Typhlosion. Please, please. But until next time, Chromer out. Bye!